Well, if we haven't seen enough of Japan and Iran already, this is the third final in a row. Hidegashi Kagawa against Sajad Yanzadi. Now Hidegashi Kagawa, 29 year old from Osaka. This would be a career best performance for him. Sayad Ganzadi from the Islamic Republic of Iran, 2016 world champion and a plethora of Premier League success in the Karate World Tour, the 25 year old from Iran. Well, if you're an expert in the sport, you can pick a favourite come into this one. Both men have fought before, both have a win against each other. Who's going to take the World Games title here? The final final of the day. Yanzadi against Kagawa. The big occasion here in the Gem Arena. Well, who's going to shine brightest in this one? It's a decent little counter punch there. Looked like from Yanzadi on the attack, Kagawa on the counter. The referee has a look at both judges, and we have. The Japanese coach looking for a video replay. Well, he's been a busy man, Masuo Kagawa. And he's been a successful man. Ensuring that Yuko point for the counter punch goes on the board. Good work from the coach. And now things are going to change a little. The Iranian, Kenzade, good at mastering the distance. Did he catch the eye of the judges or was it another counter from Kagawa? It was indeed. Well, the flags are the thing that tell you. So you can see the flags just in the corner there of the judge. One in each hand. And if they hold that up, two of the three needed to score. Good punch in the inside there. Ganzadi trying to score. But it has to happen at a free-flowing movement. Yeah, that's the signal for holding there on the inside. Takes a little warning from the ref. And it's as we were. Gonzadi pushing forward. Wazari kick there. The two-point attempt. Tries it again. Well, the judge is unmoved. The flags not flying. Well, that's why the Iranian coach is going to have a little word here. And that's understandable. A couple of really good shots underneath there. Samane Goshadan, the coach, also successful. So it's been a fight off and a coach off. And just making sure that the point gets added. Yep, the two point Wazari kick in a final. Not easy to do. Epon, of course, would be if you can kick up to the head. Epon is worth three points. But as you can see, Gonzadi is smaller of the two. There was a good power punch there. The Gaiyosuke reverse punch on the inside. Yep, and I think we're going to see the Japanese coach one more time. Masua Kagawa, card in hand. Well, it's all tied up perfectly. Two points each, two minutes on the board, but two times, not a charm for the video replay. Back in the pocket, unsuccessful attempt. But that was a reasonably successful punching shot there from the Iranian. Two blue flags equals one point. And from being two points down, Sajad Ganzadi back in this one big time. Still pushing, still probing, being aggressive. Hidogashi Kagawa looking a little bit tense now. The taller man doesn't like to come forward. Naturally, not as quick, not as fast across the mat due to the long limbs. And you can see Kanzade, well, he's used to fighting against bigger people. He knows how to kill some time. 
Still plenty of it left, though. Both men taking a warning. Looking for options, looking for spaces. Can Kagawa find the shot that he needs? Using that front hand just to pretend to try and draw in the smaller opponent. The bigger man does not like to attack. It's always difficult to bridge that distance. Now the little hand jive from the ref indicates too much passivity. And on we go. Kagawa has to do something. Kanzadi. Well, there's the difference in the height of the two. The distance between the two as well. Marginal. This will suit the Iranian. He loves to counter. There's a shot on the way through. Did he overcommit? No flags evident. Well, there's one red flag out. Hard to see. Was there two? Is it going to be the Yuko for Japan? Well, it's been awarded, which would make it three points each, as it says. But I think that the Iranian coach, Samane Goshadan, well, he tried to throw his own video replay card to no avail. There's a good shot from both. But it was the straight punch from Kagawa, who was points down. Well, he's now points up. Saya Ganzadi tries with the low punch, walks into the big punch on the way through. And has it scored again? Well, we can see one of the... Well, there's two. There's a perfect shot for you. And it is indeed enough to score. 5-3 now. Double punch there. Look at the timing. Hidegoshi Kagawa. Well, he doesn't like to attack, but my goodness, can he counter? Well, remember, he was 3-2 down. Well, we can see now the head kick attempts from the Iranian Kanzadi. And this is not his comfort zone. Walking into the bigger man's danger zone. Time of the evidence now. 25 seconds left. Can Kanzadi produce something? Tries with the roundhouse upstairs. But the door was locked. Well, Kagawa seemed to look away for a second there. Laps in concentration. That could help Kanzadi. Still time. Tries with the front punch again. One more upstairs. Good sweep and punch through on the inside. That looked to be one continuous movement. Well, the video replay card is gone. It's all on the judges now. Did they like it? They did not, to the delight of Kagawa. Survives the sweep, but there's a big punch upstairs. He will not be defeated for want of effort. Yanzadi pulls it back. Two seconds left. One point in it. Looking for a miracle shot here. Kagawa on the defensive. Ganzadi tries with the Wazari to the body. But the Japanese fighter, world champion for a reason. And now world games champion for his performance. Top class stuff from both men. 11 points shared. Two medals shared. Silver for Iran. But the man in the middle, the big man from Japan. Now he's your champion, Hiragoshi Kagawa. What a way to complete all of the fighting element here. And the plus 84 kilogram men. The world champion, true to form. And you can probably hear in the background the PA announcement. In five minutes time, there will be the medal presentations. So please do stick with us for that. As the medals are given to the deserving athletes as both men leave the arena. Well, Hidekoshi Kagawa, reluctant to leave the tatami, but he will do so as the 2017 World Games champ. He worked up quite a sweat there, pushed to the very last seconds. Kanzadi brought it with all he had. But Kagawa takes the acclaim and takes the gold medal.